Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, epidemiologist, biostatistician, faculty member, and in this segment I'm going to be going over multiple data sets, um, mainly though the National Survey on Drug Use and Health um, data set that is um, uh, put out by uh, the SAMHSA, Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. First of all, I think uh, what is interesting is that um, they start with the um, uh, disclaimer that this is not a mental health crisis um, place and um, you can text 988 um, when you have a crisis. So um, a bit of a description here, data provide, the data provide estimates of substance use and mental illness at the national, state, and substrate level. Um, NSDUH data also help to identify the extent of substance use and mental illness among different subgroups. Um, estimate trends over time and determine the need for treatment services. I actually did a um, uh, I, I did a um, uh, NSDUH uh, study, and also one of my um, dissertation students actually did completed an NSDUH study as well. Um, so I, I I do have some experience in um, working with this um, data set. Um, so this is um, this data is, is um, a the, the um, study is conducted annually by the SAMHSA and provides national represent, nationally representative data on the use of tobacco, alcohol, and drug substance use disorders and mental health issues and receipt of substance use and mental health treatment among the civilian non-institutionalized population aged 12, 12 older. If you want to um, explore this, then you can um, um, go through this further. And also, I want to bring to your attention that um, at the top right here, um, there's the URL or web link that you can use um, to access this data. So you can, um, in order to get a feel for um, what type of data is available, you can read the short report um, and um, take a look at some of the areas that there have been studies already. Um, now, now to the interesting part. How do you um, access NSD Rich? Before we go in there, um, I want to go through some of the um, uh, additional data sets that are available. Um, one is the Drug Abuse Warning Network, um, then um, otherwise known as DAWN, um, then the MHCLD Mental Health Client Level Data, um, National Mental Health Services Survey, and MHSS. NSSATS, National Survey of Substance Abuse Treatment Services, um, and some HSS, National Substance Use and Mental Health Services um, Survey, uh, and, and so on and so forth. There's um, quite a few data sets that are um, available, a um, uh, couple more substance abuse and mental health um, data archive uh, treatment episode data set and uniform reporting system. So I, I really encourage you to go through this and explore some of the options that you have um, within the data set. Um, so there, here you can go through these reports and the, the reason that I encourage you to go through these reports is um, you'll get a feel for the variables that are available um, within the data set so that you can pose original research questions and conduct um, uh, conducting uh, conduct original studies um, uh, by taking the secondary data from uh, this data set. So right at the bottom, um, uh, almost all the way to the bottom, um, there's actually a public use file that you can change the year um, and then click on the data set download uh, that is available. Um, so I actually uh, did this um, I guess it downloaded 2022. However, let's take a look at this visualization here and, and see what is available. And um, there's pain reliever misuse in the past year among individuals um, aged 18 or age 12 or older. Um, in in New York, the percent is 3.49%. Um, um, and then in Ohio, the um, value is 3.57%. Um, and then Tennessee, 4.01%, um, Alabama, 3.74%, Mississippi, 330 So the point is that um, there is a geographic distribution of 
um, pain reliever misuse throughout the country. And it is important to know not only on a national level um, what, what the uh, percentage is, um, it's also sometimes um, uh, worth their while to explore um, each state um, on an individual level, especially areas that have um, higher propensity for um, drug use. Um, here's some trends um, in the United States, and you can actually um, turn that into uh, age group and then geography. So um, this is some of the geography here, the United States, and then you can add a geography states um, A through F. So you, if you want to look at Alabama, as, as I was talking about um, above this, um, you can actually select Alabama and you'll be able to see some of the trends here um, within the state and then you can um, kind of take a look here. Um, so let's um, return to the um, area where you can actually uh, take a look at the data sets. Now if you wanted to look at the code book you can do that um, questionnaire show cards. Um, so these are areas that you can um, understand how to use this um, uh, using the code book. Um, here is a um, data set um, from 2022 that I um, uh, downloaded. And if you look at the overview, um, and I don't know if you can see this, um, over here, 2,605 variables and almost 60,000 cases um, within this data set. So that's the overview. And then if you look at the data view, there's actually um, all of the data available. Um, again, there's about um, 60,000 cases. Um, and then the variable view uh, demonstrates kind of like um, you can look at the label and tell what types of um, what types of variables are included in here. Um, you can look at a number of times married, uh, current military status, and these are great um, variables to be adjusting or um, ver adjusting for um, since they um, happen to be. Um, uh, confounding variables. Um, there's also a variable known as sexual attraction that I've actually not seen um, in any other data set. That's um, interesting. Um, of course, sexual identity is there. Um, and then you can take a look at additional variables that may be um, useful to you. Um, there's a lot of, as you can see, education categories are there, um, race, um, everything. So let, let me um, go to now the um, window that looks at, this is the code book and quite um, a daunting code book because of the number of variables that are in here. Um, here's some potential publications here. Um, and then you can actually access that from the um, public use files. Um, and here's um, if here's another place that you can actually access um, various data sets. Um, this is for mental health. This is for substance use. And this is data sets with both mental health and um, substance use. So let's um, select next. And um, here's some choices that um, gives you the um, ability to um, ability to access data. Um, so here is. Um, a data collection and, and you can select the um, data collection here. Um, now I want to bring to your attention this data analysis. This is um, an interesting way that you can search for the variable that you're interested in um, and, and kind of uh, explore them in a, in a way that you understand. So I already showed you 2022 so let's um, go to 2019 and then select data set then once you do so um, you can look at the um, public use data um, and, and then some of the uh, actually um, they can they have combined all the way from 2002 to 2019 if you need multiple years to look at um, I'm just going to look at 2019 and you can easily take a look at the code book here um, another thing I want to bring to your attention is um, sample is waiting um, a, a lot of times when you're looking at um, the analysis and talk about that um, in, in a moment here 
Um, so a public use data, uh, there's demographics. Uh, um, demographics include um, sex, gender, sexuality, education, employment, experiences, geography, location. Now when you do geography location, there's um, population density, um, what types of metropolitan or non-metropolitan areas there are. Let's go to some of the more um, you know, demographic variables here. Um, and it, as we already um, noticed in the actual dat data set um, in SPSS, um, there is sexual attraction um, there. And um, as soon as you click on that, you'll be able to look at the values that are um, there. Um, you can even recode these val values. Um, this the, the purpose of this is to um, utilize the, um, the, the analysis that um, has already been included. Um, uh, the, the, you don't have to use SPSS for this. However, um, if you know and, and are comfortable with SPSS, I would really recommend that you um, use that. However, um, in order to understand your research question, you might actually have to remove some of the other um, variables to um, have a um, concise um, data set so that you don't get lost in, in um, all the variables that are there. Um, so what are the choices of um, sexual attraction? Um, well, number one is I'm only attracted to opposite sex. Number two, I'm mostly attracted to opposite sex. Three, I'm equally attracted to males and females. Four, I'm mostly attracted to same sex. And then I'm only attracted to same sex. So this is, um, if you want to add this variable, you can actually um, uh, t take a look here and add the variable um, and, and analyze the um, data um, right here. And you can run cross tabs if you have two variables in there. Um, however, again, um, this is for the sake of finding the um, type of variable that you're looking for um, when I when I click on blood then multiple um, variables for blood appear so um, taking medication for blood pressure this is the code for that and so you can go to um, return to SPSS file and actually do a search for um, high BPMED um, Again, the code is more important than the question because the code is how you can search for the variable. Um, and that's the details of this is beyond the scope of this talk. Um, however, the options are at what age were the first were they first diagnosed with high blood pressure, um, and then ever in their life had they been told they had high blood pressure. And then, what is interesting is there is cancer data as well. Ever in their life, um, they were diagnosed with the following type of cancer: blood leukemia and lymphoma and the um, uh, the code for the variable is C-A-B-L-O-L-E-U-L-I-N. Very important to know the code again and include this in any um, any proposal that you may be writing for for this data set. So again um, in, in summary we went over um, all the variables that are well um, some of the variables that are available through the NSDUH data set um, we went over multiple data sets that are available through SAMHSA, um, and then um, we looked at also um, how you can um, utilize this data set in SPSS with the codes that you need for your research. I hope this has all made sense. Thank you for listening.